lagi Cukulah kau dapatkan diri lebih Burung kaya kapak pergi dulu Postmates Postmates By Oxford Road <laughs> Postmates Now, Postmates guys Postmates is literally a life changer It's made me a king in my own house Oh, Imagine having Just think of anything Think of it Tender green Yes mm. I can get it now um, Oh um, Silver Lake Ramen I can get it now We've gotten all We've gotten stuff from like Asian places Even like Katsu? Oh you yeah, know Katsu where we get stuff. it from? That place in Koreatown The late night stew place yeah, yeah. Sonam Sonam Dang. Sonam Dan, yeah. Do, 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 do Postmates do stuff that are outside of food? Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, have everything. them go buy my stuff That's at what I'm um, saying. Nelson's. All right. You want paper napkins? Uh-huh. Yeah, they can get it from Postmates. It really is incredible. They've always been on time. They always come in the right, appropriate manner. Mm-hmm. And they're cute. <laughs> okay? Appropriate. Honestly, if you're not in po- on Postmates, you don't know. Mm-hmm. Tell them about it. <laughs> For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners one hundred dollars of free delivery credit Ooh, for your first seven days. That's a lot of money. To start your free deliveries, download the app right now and use the code Belly. That's the code Belly for one hundred dollars of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Get anything you need, anytime you need it. Download Postmates and save with the code Belly. Okay, maybe I just might have to close my eyes for this entire episode. <laughs> How do I look, George? Just put a bandana over your both beautiful, eyes. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, bandana would have worked just fine too, Gil. <laughs> okay, so I guess let's start. If it doesn't work, let's, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> confident, confident. Okay, go. Five, four, three. You're going to have to do it faster than mm-hmm. that. I mean, because you, you know what? It, you, you dictate, believe it or not, Yeah. your energy... And how you do the countdown dictates the way it's going to go. I'm inspired. Well, it's not even just inspiration. It's, it doesn't inspire me right now. Okay. You know? And also, you, George. Oh. <laughs> you, I was George. To I know. I don't want to. I, I, I came at Gilbert a little too aggressively. No, that was fine. That's quite all <laughs> I understand that, but I need, I need to get at you now. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Came towards Gilbert too. Just because, you know, Gilbert's a minority. <laughs> yeah. He used to be fat. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't know what it's like to be skinny. Yeah. That's so right. that's why his attitude's still fat. Yeah, I'm not in Raya. You have a fat personality still. I, yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. You're I fat. Love, that's just, that's what I love about him. Yeah. You're just like... He's got to talk... Like, you're a ball of flesh juice. <laughs> <laughs> I like flesh juice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if Gabriel Iglesias lost all his weight, would you think he'd be the same? <laughs> or he, He's skinny on the inside. He is like, yeah. Because he he, he likes, uh, he humps normal sized women. Yeah. Right. What's and a normal size? <laughs> he humps normal sized women. He, you know, he has normal sized friends. <laughs> yeah. Normal right. Size. He has, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does normal sized comedy. Yeah, normal right? sized comedy. Style, you know? So um, Gabe no, is, uh, don't ever bring up Gabe. Sorry. He's my boy for life, dude. Don't ever fucking try I'm sorry. to shame you Gabriel right. Iglesias You're again, right. dude. Five, All right, four, so, no, I'm no. Not, no, I'm not, I'm not even ready yet. I thought you were leading me in. No, no, no. Okay. I'm talking about this guy, George. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you fucking ratchet, ratchet fuck. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, you didn't even do it. You're so saying, nice today. Are you saying ratchet fuck or ratchet fuck? What's the, I said they're both the same. Isn't that the same thing? Rat, rat shit, shit fuck. and ratchet are two very oh, different terms. Uh, it's right. like tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> right? Can you hear the difference? Yeah, can you hear the difference? Tomato, tomato. All right, let's do the countdown. Five, four, four three, three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, stop, stop, stop. What was that from? Star Wars. Yeah, dude. Did you know that, George? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely, sir. <laughs> Absolutely, Captain. We uh, talk about Captain. We have Captain Sistai here. Yar. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Fury. Yeah, yeah. Uh, baby, what the fuck is going on with your eye? She's wearing an eye patch, audio listener. You have a sister? Um, well, I texted George and Gilbert yesterday. Hola, Julio, stop it. I texted them yesterday because I was like, my eye is swollen. I have a giant sty in my eye. And I can't put any, you know, fancy makeup on it for the podcast. So I need an eye patch. Yep. And so, um, yeah, I have a bingit. 
A bing- it's called a binget. In the Philippines, they call it binget. Binget. Yeah. yeah, it's when you um you see a dick you're not supposed to see. That's what they say. Uh, uh there's actually a word for that. Bing- what is it? <laughs> there's a word for seeing a dick that you're not supposed to see. Oh, what's it what's called? What's it called? You said binget. Oh yeah, binget. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What but it, it manifests. You're the one I just told me. I thought you were doing. I thought you were doing English version. Yeah. You, you just told me. Were, were you were, with me, Gil? Yeah, yeah. I was with you, but I thought he was a good joke. Where he's be like, "It's called George Kimball." Yeah. I thought you were gonna come up with your own term. I didn't know you were gonna use my term, Bingit. Oh, you you gave me information. <laughs> no, 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 right? no, 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 no. I wanted to be clear with your information. No, no, no. But your information is wrong. A Bingit is the actual sty, but a sty is 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 caused by seeing a dick you're not supposed to see. But the act of seeing wait, a dick wait, you're wait. not supposed to see is not called binget. The sty is called binget. Oh, so what you're saying is is that they think, Filipinos think. <laughs> well, at least the my family, yeah. So that's not a Philippine cultural it's thing. A um, they say thing? like if you're, there's two versions Who's they? of it. <laughs> Let's get there. Who's they? Sabuanos. Let's just say Sabuanos. Institutional racism. They. <laughs> Yeah. Sabanos think that you either were peeping, you were being a peeping Tom, oh. or that oh. you saw a dick that what you weren't supposed to see. It's like that whole um, um, wives tale or urban legend if you masturbate, you get hair on your palm or something. Yeah, like that. That's a, something uh, ridiculous. Oh. You never you, heard about that? No. Yeah. Have you heard about that? Yes. yes. Everybody's, Everybody's heard, heard about, about that. that. Were you, You've you never heard about that? No. Oh, wow. Hair on your palms? Which. That explains that, it all. I have yeah. so much hair. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is like. Um, have you ever heard it, seen anybody with hair on their palm? Only the um, those the the guy from Mexico, the circus guy. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, if you're like a, a werewolf that guy, man, yeah, werewolf, werewolf man, yeah, of course. Man, yeah. But no, like a normal human being. Like, have you ever sh- shaken somebody's hand and went, no, God, babe. his his hand is fuzzy. Damn, no, he's babe. seen a lot of dick. He wasn't supposed to. See yeah, yeah. It. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know where that urban legend comes from, but um, uh, fat juice, yeah. love it. You're great. You're great. Thank you. And God oh, damn it. George, Why just did? don't say thank you. Just you receive it, it internally or else it's going to anger the captain. Yeah, I'm, yeah I get no. angry on my neck and I, everything. I knew it as soon as I said it. I'm... So um, I thought, you know, when we did Theo Vaughn's um, Valentine's special, I thought I was so low energy on that one. But did I, did, it turn I thought I, did, I was too. I was like, fuck. Yeah. We bombed it, babe. Yeah. I was doing Ethan's, you know how Ethan said from H3 podcast yeah. that try to be – more boring or something and then so that's what I tried on Theo's because in my head I'm like I have to be funny because Theo's blowing the fuck up he is let me say something about Theo Vaughn he is blowing the fuck up yep he works hard there is something happening with that guy that's um people are catching on to chilling you know because people now come up to me and go oh we saw so I was at um Gelson's and three white dudes were like oh yeah you're from Theo Vaughn's podcast Mm. from like they think that 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 I auditioned. You're like fat, you're fat juice. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I character. desperately, you know, but that's good for him, dude. Dude, you called it too. He what? had no reps. No one wanted him, and you're like, no, this. Guy. Well, you can see it a mile away, right? I mean, you watch somebody, you see it a mile away, you know. Um, it's it's not rocket science, you know. I could, I think, I literally could be a talent scout or a, a manager. <gasps> you and I both, babe. Yeah. You guys should have your own agency. Have our own yes. management. Yes, I think know? that I could be a great scout. I can also sell people, and I I, I can also force people, kids. To, like if we had some kids, I could force them to do stuff. What? Wait. Force wait, kids wait, 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 to do stuff? No, no, that people that wait, where did this go? What, what do you mean? I'm, You're I'm, saying I'm you, I could force some kids territory. to do stuff. No, if I had... Ki- like kids would mean like I had clients yeah. that oh. were stand-ups. Oh, okay. Like I would call them my kids because uh-huh. they're a part of my, you know, right? Mm-hmm. And I can force them to do stuff. Like, Babe, like, like can what? we elaborate what the stuff is? <laughs> stuff. Like, like, what? Like, like what? Like what? Like what? Example. Please. What do you think I mean? I don't know. <laughs> I got a very sexual undertone, babe. No. Oh, what? That's no, all. That's, the- no. In terms of like making shoes. Okay, see there. Yeah, I have a sweatshop, and they, you know see? what I mean. They're making shoes. And st- no, what I mean is, is that not sex. I can go. You got to take an acting class, dude. Ah. Uh, or you, you got, you know, you, you guys, uh, really need to to really carve out your point of view, mm-hmm. mm, got right? It. Uh, you guys need to uh, work on your like, you know, discipline yourself in terms of how much stage time you get, you know, stuff mm-hmm. like that. I feel like I can do that. Um, You're a good mentor. Yeah, I mean when yeah. when when um, Natasha and Moshe and I they, we want to start a comedy class. Did I tell you that? Yeah, 
I've said that. Is that going to go down? You think? Well, I, mean, I haven't run into them, and I haven't really called them, but <laughs> but it's still, whenever we see each, if we do see each other, it always comes up. Mm. Um, but I would probably want to do it in a city, not in LA. Oh. I'd probably want to do it in like just do one weekend in like um, somewhere in Texas or Arizona or something, you know, to see who comes out. And I also wouldn't want to do it if um, we taped it. I'm getting dizzy. Are you being real? It's yeah, I'm Maybe dizzy. It's the, it's the patch in your eye. It's the You're patch. getting vertigo. I know. It's it's making me nauseous. <laughs> take take, take oh, no. the patch off. Also, you look ridiculous, babe. <laughs> I can't believe you've been looking at him yeah. this whole time. Yeah. In fact, when you take it off, no one's going to be able to see that cyst. I've can, never seen it. Can I just keep with my right eye closed? I don't. Oh, baby, just God. give me the fucking patch. <laughs> the patch plus the yeah, camo yeah, yeah, jacket. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just a lot. Let I think Bobby should wear it. I'm the captain. Finally, I get it. You know what I mean? It's gonna make you dizzy too. No, watch. it's not gonna make me dizzy. I, I... Hello, look. Babe, 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 when I was in eleventh grade, did you know that for six months I had to wear a patch like this? Because you had astigmatism. No. I was in an accident and I hit my eye and I had to wear a patch like this. Really? Yeah. What no, kind I'm of kidding, accident? Oh, wow, I believe that. I lied the whole thing. I lied. Every, the, I lied. every time. Yeah, you're right. I'm having getting dizzy. You are. And I just put it on. Yeah, I hate it. I told you. I hate it. Damn, Samuel L. Jackson has to act like that. Yeah. This is distracting, George? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> okay, I also saw a document. I don't think I've ever talked about it, and I want to talk about it now. Ooh, which one? Ooh, which one? Uh, which one? Uh, what the, which, the one is this. It's called Free Solo. Do you see it? Yeah. It's the rock climbing? Yeah. It's not just rock climbing, man. It's, um, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, and I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm being stereotypical or trying to um, put down any race of people. <laughs> and this is the honest thing. I really don't know any minority free rock climber. If you look at all the history's past rock climbers you mean that successful have died. Ones or no, ever? not ever, ever. I've never That's seen not it. true because my friend Asini Huerta. He's a Mexican guy. <laughs> babe, babe, is that a real person? I swear to God. There is no Asini Duerta anywhere on planet Earth. Okay? I swear to God. Don't make that shit up, man, for yeah, fucking... He lives in Ensenada, Mexico. He's yeah, an yeah, I'm sure, sure he were, lives there. I swear <laughs> yeah, to you guys. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I know a guy named Totoya Totoya. Oh, what kind right? of yeah, is he from? He lives in fucking Alaska. Oh, wow. Yeah. What does he do? What? what does he he do? rock climbs. Oh. His name is Totoya Totoya. Can I wear your beanie, babe? No, babe. <laughs> Okay. Give me a fucking. Ba- no, 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 no. <laughs> fuck you. I'm not giving you up my beanie. So, um. Because I named a minority. Free solo. A climber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, give me my fucking eye patch back. And then, then here's your eye patch, babe. Put it back, Put it on your face. Yeah, honestly, like if you li- li- okay, um, I want you to Google. We have right? no, we have no internet, but I'll try my. <laughs> we haven't had internet in days. But you have a you have a um. Oh, yeah. Uh, you have t- cellular, right? Yeah. Turn it on. Uh, look up um. Rock climbers that have died. Oh, from free soloing. From free soloing, okay. So basically, if you you probably don't know what know what I'm talking about, free solo is a it, 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 what it is is you're rock climbing without a rope. So essentially, you make one mistake, you die. And you're climbing off of like a straight up ninety degree rock face. Yeah. Called El Capitan. Yeah. <laughs> it's called El Capitan. And what's interesting to me is is that these 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 mountain faces that people climb, so many climbs, climbers have climbed it with rope that the sections of the rock there's names for it. Mm. Right? Like, oh my god, he's about to approach the devil's rape. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? yeah. Anal death or whatever. They have different like, you know what I mean? Good porn. Yeah. Anal death. Head switch, back turn, like different yeah. things, you know? And they go, oh my God, he did it. You know, people will, people that know about rock climbing. Yeah. But this dude attempts to do El Capitan without a rope. And literally, when you watch this documentary, you're shaking on the inside. You're sweating. It really is exhilarating to watch. But also, the whole time, you think, what the fuck? Why? Why do they do that? That's the question, right, that we all must ask ourselves. And I figured out why. Well, they actually explained why. <laughs> Documentary. 
Why? Because. <laughs> but he also figured he, out a way to tell me why. Yeah, they did a they, they did a PET scan <laughs> on his brain and specifically his amygdala, and that's where your yeah, emotional again. like your yeah, control center is for like your emotions. With her, the guy. <laughs> and <laughs> the doctor <laughs> told him that. It takes a lot for him to his for his amygdala to light up. For <laughs> us, it would again. take something as little as like a a, a a sappy commercial, and then we would feel some way, right? Yeah. For him, it takes fucking climb, you know, climbing El Capitan for his amygdala to light up. So he's searching for the same thrill uh, uh, that we rule. get. <laughs> new rule: Don't watch use that word again. I just can't do that the word. Amygdala. Can, can yeah, you yeah, substitute? Yeah. It with I said not to use it again. Can you substitute it with yeah. a layman's yeah. word? Try to use it with. It's just else. a part of your brain. There's no other way to call it, you guys. It's east brain. East. Please say <laughs> east, east, east or west brain. Brain. <laughs> East brain or west brain. Please say east brain. <laughs> so yeah, that's the that's how they explained it in the documentary. Did you watch it? Yeah, I, I saw it, but I have theory? a different explanation. What is your theory? Okay, because they didn't bring this part up, right? But I feel like this guy has the same thing as Richard Klinklinski. Oh, he's a sociopath. Not just a sociopath. He ha- no, well, no. Mm. Richard Klinklinski, the ice killer, is many things. He's a sociopath. You know, you know, a psychopath. He's got. He's he's one example of. He has like nine different things also that happen to be bad upbringing. Yeah, up, yeah. He has so many elements that pushed him to inevitably be a murderer without any guilt, right? Mm. But I do believe that Richard Klinklinski has that part of his brain that he. he it's not even a brain. Is that it takes him so much to feel adrenaline and yeah. excitement, right? Mm-hmm. And um, if this kid that did El- the solo, right, had a bad upbringing, he didn't have access or groups of people that could tell him about rock climbing or anything exhilarating, and he had a really bad life, that he could have turned out to be just a really bad dude. Yeah. No. I mean, you know my opinion about. Um, him, I thought he he he's spectacular in his feet. Yeah, but I like the documentary showing sort of what a he is incapable of being a good partner to anybody. Yeah, but himself, and I don't I don't think it's necessarily his fault. It seems like he also falls under the spectrum. But it's also it's 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 also because you, know, you think about why they do it, and it's it's about really just glory. It's the glory of. He's the only one that did El Capitan solo, right? Now he's on the cover of every magazine. Mm-hmm. And he can go up to the rock, he can go to a rock climbing convention or party, right? And be the guy that says, oh yeah, I did El Capitan. And people know, you know? Yeah. He's like the number one guy now. So I think a little bit of, it, is that ego or? Uh, did you did you run it, anybody? Yeah, so here are some of the names. Uh, but recently, do you see photos? There's no photos. But the guy died three years ago. You can't ago. go to images. You want, you want to see the deaths or the names, like the actual pictures. Well, let me just see the, your phone. Give me your the phone. names. It, it might go with your minority theory. There's a lot of white names. Okay, so um, the site continues. Look at all those names. Where it's like Tim Klein. There's no names. Jason Wells. There's no names. Here, I'll show you. I'll read it. Okay. Names are like uh. Tim Klein, Jason Wells recently died, and there's also Felix Kiernan, East Bustress, Mason Robinson, Muir Wall. Mason Robinson could be could black. Be a black. That could be guy, black. Yeah. yeah. Jim Madsen? White. White. So then, start with the game names again, and I'll tell you what they are. <laughs> this is a good profile. <laughs> Jason Wells. White. Tim Klein. White. East Bustress. Huh? Buttress. East Buttress. He's um, half Mexican. East? With the name East? East. But he had, the other half was white and they were a hippie. Right? And they go East or West or North or West, whatever. Right? Yeah, but Buttress is a pretty Anglo Saxon. Tyler <laughs> Gordon. White. Felix Kiernan. White. Mason Robinson. Black. Mir, <laughs> Mir, Mir Wall. M U I R. That's the, the wall they're talking about that they climbed. Are these people names or are these? Like- nope, these are just words. <laughs> Died when a block. No, Muir Wall, and then it's just right here, uh, Jim Madsen, and then that's it. Okay. Can we can we um, check to see if this Mason point, Robinson? <laughs> this whole point. This whole point is I want to see photos. I'll talk in photos. I don't know what you're doing. I thought you wanted names. Here, there, you go. Robin Hood. Yep, it is Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. 
Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos all commission free. Ooh. While other brokerages charge up to about ten dollars for every trade, Robinhood doesn't charge any commission fees, so you can trade stocks and keep all your profits. Yes. Plus, there is no account minimum deposit needed to get started, so you can start investing at, at any level. Mm -hmm. I started with ten dollars. The simple, intuitive design of Robinhood makes investing easy for newcomers and experts alike. Oh. Viewer, view, you, view. Oh, you view easy to understand charts and market <laughs> data and place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. Four? You can also view stock collections such as 100 Most Popular. Okay. With Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio, oh. discovering <laughs> new stocks, Track your favorite companies and get custom notifications for price movements so you can never miss the right moment to invest in. Okay. Robinhood is giving listeners of Tiger Belly a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help you build your portfolio. Sign up at tiger.robinhood.com. Robinhood. Again, that's tiger.robinhood.com. Enjoy the show. We love Ooh. Robinhood. Ooh. Ooh. So anyway, if you, you guys, uh, I love Robin Hood. Robin Hood, I yeah, love it. Robin Hood, it's my favorite. Your favorite, yeah. But um, if you guys want to watch something really um, like a horror movie, Free Solo is the thing to watch. <laughs> horror film. It's a horror movie to me. <laughs> to me and, too. I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't stand to watch the climbing scenes. I had to look away and just listen. And then that other movie that you told me to watch, Lobsters. <laughs> the Lobster <laughs> by Yorgos Lanthimos. Yeah, yeah. Colin Farrell. Yeah. Because oh. I have he. Watched... By the way. I that, by the way, that bro, mm -hmm. Colin Farrell, could be my new best favorite actor. He's always been amazing. Because that guy right there, um, you know, earlier when he was hot, when he was doing Minority Report, all the you know Hollywood shit, right? You went, who is this? You know, good-looking foreigner. Another good-looking foreigner as an actor, right? But through time. He's now chosen to do like smaller films and really cool things, and um, especially in that lobster. Is it, what's it called? The lobster. lobster. The lobster. I loved him in it. He was so toned down, mm -hmm. and I've never seen him do a role like this. Um, did you like him in In Bruges? Yes, that was a comedy, right? Yeah, dark. Uh, yeah, I did like him in that as well. But this dude is. Um, but I got, I got to the point where um, did you guys see the movie? I have. You have? Mm -hmm. You never saw the lobster? No. I got sixty percent into it, and I'm like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, it's it's a little too dark. Oh, it's a little too dark for me. It, it, I was I'll, I was riding with it. Woo! Yay! Lobster, right? And then it got to a certain point where you know, in a movie, if an animal gets hurt, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I think. Have you seen um, Killing of a Sacred Deer? No, that's his other movie, right? Yeah, it's just equally as disturbing because like kids are involved. Right, and then right, but then there's a new one. The reason why I wanted to watch The Lobster is because his new one called uh, The Favorite. The Favorite with Olivia is Coleman. getting a lot of not uh, you know not like Oscar attention, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When is the Oscars? This Sunday. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Is it this coming Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I can't wait to watch. Um, <laughs> I've never seen an Oscars. Not once. No, I can't do it. There hasn't been a year I haven't watched since I was a baby. Because yeah. being, being, I'll tell you the 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 fact that it's 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 still one's opinion, right? It's like Hereditary is nominated for what? Nothing really, is it? Anything? Did Tony Collette get nominated? I honestly believe that she should have got nominated, and she's not. Yeah. She was so fucking. Name me an actress. I don't. I I saw bits of that. Meryl Streep, Meryl, not Meryl Streep, Glenn Close in that movie. Was it Glenn Close? The wife. The wife. Oh, loved she, it. That's the, you showed me a couple of scenes. Yeah. She's great. She should get nominated. I think she did, right? Yeah, she did. But so did so Tony Collette too. Yeah. Yeah. It's on but a lot of lists why, for biggest snub. Now, why don't really? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why don't um, they ever um, give it up for horror movies? Like it's just that a genre they never tap into, unless it's like a psychological thriller, like Get Out. If it was a cycle, it, oh, Get Out is a different, little different because Get Out has that um, point of view thing that is um, what liberals really like right now. Jordan's a young African American. The show is about the movie is about from an African American's point of view. It is 
it seems very fresh and relevant. So obviously, Get Out. Also, Get Out's a great movie. Mm-hmm. I love Jordan. He's doing a podcast. <laughs> but my point is just that, <laughs> thank you, Jordan. But um, yeah, I think that it, without some sort of cultural thing like that, I think horror movies don't have a shot. Mm-hmm. Like, did the Babadook get nominated? No. I don't remember mm-hmm. it ever being mentioned. Right. So but I also don't think the Baba Duke was as good as Hereditary. Yeah, no. So I'm saying that um they get it wrong. I think and I, and, I, and it's someone's opinion and it's also you know remember when Seinfeld went on that whole rant about actors? What did he say? What did he say? I don't remember. It basically is you guys show we sh- you know actors show up, we they memorize lines of other people's words. They say it perfectly, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right? And then People say, good job. You go to a trailer and you wait for eight hours. Then you say another line mm-hmm. perfectly the way they want you to write it. And now, you know what I mean, they fucking go to these big galas and, you know what I mean. But that's if you're a good actor. There's so many people out there. Most people out there don't say it perfectly. Yeah. So it is a craft. So it is something that you have to refine and practice and get good at because no one can just stand there with all the lights and with all the fucking people around mm-hmm. watching you and perform in that way. I know I couldn't do it, not in a million years. But there is also, and I I agree with you, it's hard. Yeah, and there are so many shitty actors. I agree with you, it is hard. Shitty actors, a lot of that. Here's the thing. A lot of that. I know. Here's the thing. People go. People go. Keanu Reeves is a bad actor. Do you, would people say? Would you think that Keanu Reeves is a bad actor? I I used to sort of think that because every all I ever heard was Trinity. Yeah, yeah. You know, like there was always like one Trinity. One word or three words that he has to say, but then I realized, like from a technical sp- standpoint, that man is a god. Even as a young person, though, you know, there was a thought that in my head, I guess, back in the day when he was doing like River's Edge or some, you know. Is he good in speed? Yeah, no, even before that, like he did Dangerous Liaisons where he didn't even have an English accent, right? <laughs> you know, wait, he had to have no, it? He had to have one. Wasn't but he, he didn't have one. Uh, there oh. was this other movie and where then, he needed he had to have an English accent. It wasn't much to do about nothing, right? The remake. Constantine? No. Or no, it wasn't it was something else where I was like, Dear God, this isn't going well. And then he was going to, through that Polly Shore route where he did Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. I love event, Bill and Ted. Right? But still it's it's one of those movies where you're like, you know, the shelf life of Keanu Reeves is not gonna be forever. Right? But over the years yeah. you realize that he's far more dynamic than he appears to be mm-hmm. and people say he's not a great no I'm going to say this right now you're uh, right you're right that dude right shows up he knows his lines he's confident he knows the action sequences in and out like the dude goes to the classes oh yeah right John Wick Jeez. yeah he this dude is a machine like you said mm-hmm. right so you know is he crying for real like if you know like is he ever in a scene where he's crying no is that what you should measure a good actor no No. I think that he's not necessarily multi-dimensional but the two dimensions that he knows (laughs) he's he's a master of that's not baby baby he's our guest he's got more than two dimensions baby no that's what I'm saying the one dimension he knows you know what I mean it's so good it's so good it's the same reason why I hate restaurants with like super big menus yeah right right it's like be good at what you're good at. Yeah. And be not be good at that, be great at that. You don't have to be good at 50 things. You just have to be really like I always tell people, it's like in the kitchen, just wow them with three things. Know how to cook three to five things really 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 well. And, you know, they they Yeah, but here's that's just a good way. You're right. You're right. Okay? But I also want to add this, okay? Is is that you know, people go, "Well, and th- this is why that Seinfeld thing that he said was, you know, I didn't agree with it. And you're right. I, I don't agree with it. I don't it agree with it I either. couldn't fucking do it. Because number one, um, sorry, Jerry, but as a stand-up, you're okay. Oh, my Ooh. God. All right. He invited like, you to his charity gala. No, Judd right? Apatow did. Ooh. <laughs> Judd Apatow did. And what did, did he call you? His wife called me Jimmy. <laughs> 
So for Jerry like, Seinfeld's okay. wife called me Jimmy. And she goes, what's his name? I go, my name is Bobby. She goes, and then like, she came back by the table. She goes, how's everything, Jimmy? And, I, and then I was with like, I'm sitting next to Judd Apatow. I go, pretty yeah. good. You know what I mean? And Oh, Leslie Mann? No, that's, Leslie that's, Mann is Judd's name. wife. Judd's yeah. wife. I'm talking about Seinfeld's wife. Oh, Seinfeld's wife. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, he, Seinfeld was one of the best sitcoms ever made. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm giving him that. He also created observational comedy, mm-hmm. right? He, a ki- a type of comedy that he created, which is like, you know, talking about just ordinary things. You mean, why is this happening? And <laughs> what is up with that? And, yeah. you know, what is up with Jimmy? Yeah, it's basically him asking a question <laughs> and that, yeah, what is up with Jimmy? Jimmy. <laughs> this is the only minority and this is lunch. I didn't invite him. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Spot on. Ah, damn, Judd. <laughs> right? But, uh, but you have, I mean, let me say something. I mean, if you put, just a, imagine a regular audience mm-hmm. of just minority, it is all sect of life, right? You do a show, you put 2,000 people in a theater. Mm-hmm. You put Earthquake. Mm-hmm. Earthquake. Mm-hmm. All right. Earthquake is um if you don't know Earthquake you should. Mm-hmm. Um he is one of those guys that Okay, think of yourself. Think to yourself. You didn't know who Earthquake was and you're on a show. And you also didn't know who Jerry Seinfeld was. He wasn't Jerry Seinfeld. No, but th- I want to talk about Earthquake for a second. And you didn't know who Earthquake was and you like you're a booker of the show and somebody said, "You should use Earthquake." And you would mock at the name. That's his name? Earthquake? Right, so then you get him on the show, right? You see this older kind of black guy. Mm-hmm. They go, this guy's name is Earthquake, right? And then <laughs> Earthquake opens his mouth on stage, and you're like, oh! <laughs> oh! You know what I mean? Like an earthquake's happening, right? You go, that's why they call him that! That guy's funny as fuck, He's bro. funny as fuck, yeah. That guy's funny as fuck, bro, yeah. right? It's like when I first saw uh, when I first saw um, Cedric to the Entertainer. Mm-hmm. Steve and I, Paulie guys, years ago. This must have been the late nineties. Mm. And Paulie goes, "Did I'm going into the main room? You want to come with me?" I go, N- "No," <laughs> especially the way you said it. <laughs> pa- pass, pass, pass. And he goes, "No, there's this guy. You gotta see him. His name is Cedric." And my brother and I go, oh, fuck. So we go sit next to Pauly. And this is when they used to have this show called Fat Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was just black comics. Yeah. And my brother and I, and this is way before, um, what's that? The Kings of Comedy. Mm-hmm. You didn't know who he was. I mean, people did know who he was in like, um, you know, certain, certain comedy scenes, obviously. Yeah. But in terms of the mainstream at that point, no. And my brother and I sat there and Earthquake went up on stage. Not Earthquake, Cedric the Entertainer went up on stage. And I just remember my brother and I literally on the floor laughing so hard. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, one of those where you're holding your gut mm-hmm. side. Yeah. I, I, I'm, it was one of those moments where I, I, I went, oh, I'm going to quit. <laughs> There's no way. I'll never do that. Uh-huh. You know who I felt that about? Who? Leslie. Yeah, Leslie she, has the same thing. She has that same thing. She 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 has a thing, and she's also um, uh, it it, it depends too on what night. Sometimes if people aren't into it, it could go a little awry. But if Leslie Jones is on, mm-hmm. and the and the audience is primed, there's no one better. Yeah, I okay? agree. Mm. And um, yeah, so um. I was not even talking about oh earthquake and Seinfeld. So yeah, that's <laughs> it. Let's go back to earthquake. earthquake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go back. Okay, let's go backwards. Yeah. So if you had Seinfeld earthquake uh, in, in in front of an audience that's biased, okay, okay. there's no way Earth, um, Seinfeld will be able to follow him. Mm. That, there's no possible in any word he would eat a dick on stage. <laughs> you know, and I, I'm okay to say that because I think you would probably agree. No, I don't know. I mean, I. I just feel like I'll never know him or, you know, I mean, I went to that one luncheon. I, you know, I did, I shook his hand and that's the only interaction I've had. I don't think 
that this is ever going to get back to him. So I'm fine with it. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I know. I let you say that. <laughs> but so at the same time, it's yeah. like he, you know, what, what? Yeah. You know, I mean, I feel like, you know, in his in that driving thing that he he that comedians and cars. And cars mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's I I feel like he said something about minorities about like it should be about funny not about you know what I mean minorities or your whatever race, your race. a race or yeah. whatever and I'm like no it should be about your race as well because what you think is funny then comedy clubs would be all Jewish dudes mm. if no, you ran it <laughs> I see what you're saying you know what I mean all, all, yeah. Yeah. all observational you know, comedy yeah because it's so all subjective cl- yeah it's all subjective yeah yeah so no. No. Yeah. Um, Funny is not equal for everybody. It's and also, like, I'm done pandering to the comedy gods. He is a comedy god, though. He is a comedy god. That's yeah. I just gave him. Uh, listen, Jerry Seinfeld, if you're listening, God, you are a comedy god. <laughs> Ancestral right? god, yeah. Right. But you're one of them. Yeah. And there's twelve of them. Yeah. Who are they? Off the top of my head. Yeah, the top like still five. living. Chris Rock. Still living. Chris Rock. Oh, Chappelle. still living. Yeah. Still not, living. Tw- not twelve. Okay. Still living now, but I'll just rattle some sure. off. I think that Chris Rock is a comedy god. Mm-hmm. I think Dave Chappelle is a comedy god. Bill Burr. I think Billy Burr now is now a comedy god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think in many ways Doug Stanhope is a comedy I god. I absolutely mm-hmm. agree. Yeah. He's a god. Um, I think. Um, <laughs> wow, there's you only got four. Paul so Mooney is a comedy god. He's still alive. Mm-hmm. Paul Mooney is a comedy god. I think. Um, there's so much more in my head. Louis C.K. was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was mm-hmm. a comedy god. Um, I think, to me, Ellen DeGeneres yes. is a comedy god. Mm-hmm. I think... Um, what about that guy in uh, that was adding stuff to people's drinks? What guy? Oh, Cosby. The Quaaludes? No, Cosby is not a comedy god. Is he considered? God. Even he prior, was. Even prior to that? But when, once ra- once you rape, oh, you you're not a god anymore. You're not a god. Yeah. 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 I think one. rape, that's why <laughs> yeah, Louis yeah, C.K. He's a comedy peasant. Co- he's a comedy, he's on the fence. Yeah. He was one though. Membership. And, and also yeah. Bill Cosby was one. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, but Bill Cosby himself is a masterpiece. Like the album, the Mine album. Is, let's uh, let's oh, say the, oh, album. the album. No, the I'm, album. I'm, I know yeah, I'm yeah. talking about himself. Oh, <laughs> his uh, personality, <laughs> his character traits. No, I, no, here's the thing, dude. It's like that out al- that comedy special. Yeah. If you watch it and you can somehow, in your head, take the rape out of the equation, sure. which is very hard. It's to very do. difficult to do, yeah. right? But if you watch it, it's number one. W- watch it. Hold on! Don't plug Bill Cosby. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not plugging Bill Cosby, but I, I'm not. I'm not plugging promo Bill Cosby. code Tiger Belly for twenty yeah. percent off. You, you just said. You just said watch it. What? No, if you ever do watch you it, you stumble upon right? it. Right? If you yeah. stumble upon it, if you yeah. watch it, don't buy it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, is look at what he does with silence. Mm. You know, when a comedian like myself, right? When there's silence, I freak the fuck out. I think that I'm losing the audience. Right? Mm. I feel like. You know, all that means is they're listening to you. But Bill Cosby understood that. So in that special, right, he's very, he just sits there in this pocket of silence, but not in like, I have no control of the room. It's it's him saying, I have you. That's what it means, right? All right, let's get off the fuck. No, I want to talk about the special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk about the special, okay? I'm not, he's a demon of a human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of the worst. Yeah. He should die. Mm-hmm. Does that feel good? Yeah. yeah. All right. But Bill Cosby himself. <laughs> Great personality. <laughs> the album. And the also, album. also <laughs> just the album. The album. album. The album. The album. Right? The, 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 yeah. The, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a movie. Yeah. 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 It's a video. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and also, good job, not, George. it's so squeaky clean. He doesn't resort to one F bomb. No swearing. Mm-hmm. Not to put all. them in the same boat, but that's exactly how I felt about early Ellen DeGeneres. She, yeah, very good. Very good. Good point. Beginning to end, just seamless perfection. Wow. But Ellen, um, and I love her. Ellen, she's the producer of the show. Thank you. Love you. Thank Thanks you for the job. And I, too, feel the same way. She was clean. But there is also a silliness to her, mm-hmm. her act before 
that was obviously, you know, for joke purposes and, you know, she was very good and clever, right? But what, what Bill was also very personal about his, you know what I mean? Cosby's mm. piece of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> In fact, did you see the thing the other day? He goes, um, his lawyers put out a statement. No, I didn't see it. Bill Cosby, I think it said Bill Cosby um, finds prison very um, in- interesting. <laughs> That's the word Wait, that I chose? thought that he had a chicken patty thrown no, in his face. No, his new now point of view is, is that he loves it there. Oh. He loves it? Yeah, because he's just like, he finds it like. He um, found his people? No, he. Yeah, look but. up. Try, I know. Can you try to look that up? Bill Cosby, lawyer. I got to see exactly what he said. I wonder if he's found his little, like, troop. You know what I mean? Like, you, I think when you go to. Isn't that how you're supposed to do it? Are you supposed to ride solo or are you supposed to find your people? Yeah. Are you supposed to find the people that who are going to protect you and have your back? Or maybe like if he dies yeah. and they do surgery on yeah. his brain to see what happened mm-hmm. and they open up his brain and they just see cum. <laughs> damn it. Jesus you're damn. so fucking dumb, babe. That might be the dumbest thing you've ever <laughs> you know said. I mean? oh, is, nine people's cum, is it? <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> You get it? Yeah, uh, USA Today. Bill yeah. Cosby thinks prison is an amazing experience. Oh, God. Yeah, Compares yeah, yeah. himself to MLK. Oh, that's uh, dementia. Uh, that's, that's like... A, that's calm. That's like... <laughs> exactly my point. Calm's talking. Calm brain. That's calm brain. Calm brain. Calm brain. Science alert. Science alert. That's like, brain. Brain. Alert. That's like yeah. late stage dementia there. That's yeah. late stage Alzheimer's. I really <laughs> believe it's 12 dudes that have been nutting inside him. In, like, in a train. Right, it's getting to his brain. He doesn't know anymore. He doesn't know what's he's like, going this on. This isn't so bad. Yeah, yeah, guys. yeah. He's losing his fucking mind, dude. Um, and also, no family has visited him. Not even Camille. No, Camille. No, I think Camille's been there. It's, no, I read it something that said no, 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 nobody's been visiting him. Oh. It's just what a sad, sad, sad state that he is in. You know, um, and. That's for 50 years of behaving that way, man. Mm-hmm. And, you know, don't watch Bill Comsby himself. <laughs> don't yeah. watch Bill Comsby. 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 Bill- <laughs> Comsby. You said it. That's how you said it. That's good. I like that one. That's, it's more accurate. Oh, Bill Comsky. Comsky, yeah. yeah. Let's call him Bill, Bill Comsky from, from now on. on. Yeah. Okay. You got cum brain. You got cum brain. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's like, um, do you think Kevin Spacey and... Um, What's his name should be there too? Getting cum Miramax, brain? Miramax, yeah. Miramax, what's his name? Harvey Weinstein. Oh, Harvey, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even know where he is right now. Is he still in the retreat thing? Who? Harvey. <laughs> where is he? Well, there's a new movie coming out. Produced. It's about him. Oh, about him. Yeah. Look up what's called the Harvey Weinstein documentary. Um, and apparently it was at either Cannes or one of those film festivals. Mm-hmm. And apparently it is jaw dropping it i think a variety is it a documentary it's about a documentary him? About oh him. i think for the variety said these are things that we already know like yeah. with rose mcgowan and yeah, yeah. all these people are in the documentary yeah. but somehow watching it watching them talk even though you know all the information right. it's extremely powerful oh. what's it called the reckoning hollywood's worst kept secret Oof. Well, I have Untouchable. It's called Untouchable. Oh, oh yeah. another one then. <laughs> well, there's multiple documentaries. The Reckoning. Untouchable. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Matrix. You're not a research guy anymore. Matrix. You're the not Reckoning. Research guy. I am. You couldn't get the I photos. I got it. You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't okay. get the photos of the yes. rock solo climbers. You can't do nothing, dude. And then he said. Right? The Reckoning. Babe, the Harvey Weinstein here, Project. I mean, Babe, and one of the names... That's a movie he produced, fucker. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, that's a movie he produced. Get the fuck out of here, man. Untouchable? Yep. Babe, uh, and one of the names that he said, remember, of the yeah, rock climbers, yeah. he said mere wall. wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, that's an actual wall. Yeah, was that a mall wall? When I yeah. said that, I thought it was a guy from like... like You're a fucking idiot, Gilbert. And you know what? That, uh, and now I'm thinking the name, like uh, East... What's his name? East... Whatever, uh, yeah, yeah. butter. But, yeah, <laughs> I think that's not a person either. That's I think not, that's no. a wall no, yeah, too. Yeah. Gilbert, those are all wall. <laughs> you're fired as Richard, a research guy. Okay, I'm all sorry. Right, I'm gonna go from you to you, George, from now on. Oh man, I lost it's it. called Untouchable, and I I want to watch it, you know, because it's uh, why well, it's it's the end for him, huh? East buttress. East buttress. Mm. It's the end for him. I think Kevin Spacey's fucked for life. There's no way back. Remember 
when we looked at that house before the whole Kevin Spacey oh, right. um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, thing came out? Yeah. We went to go uh, look at a house up mm-hmm. in the hill. And the selling point and was... And the selling point was Kevin Spacey lives right, right there. there. <laughs> and Bobby, and I, the, and yeah, Bobby yeah, and I were like, wow! wow. Yeah, 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 we did that. <laughs> yes. we, wow, we looked at the fence yeah. or the wall, right? We're like, babe, that's Kevin Spacey. Oh He's a God. legend. He's a legend. That's Kaiser <laughs> Soze, <laughs> babe. <laughs> Well, yeah, I do remember that. face N words. Yeah, yeah. uh, I hope anything? they sold that house before. Yeah. Did you guys see anything suspicious about the house? In no, it was just this fortress. Well, I don't know. What do you mean? Like, like come on the wall? Just, or like <laughs> things hanging from the trees that aren't supposed to be there? Like uh, <laughs> just assholes or something? Just a lot of boys' assholes. <laughs> 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 Asshole paintings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just a mural of just assholes. Asshole. <laughs> Wow. It's like, oh, Kevin's face. And the real estate agent is trying to justify No, that's calamari. It's calamari. <laughs> like, he loves, he he loves seafood. Squid. He, he likes squid. He, he likes squid, right? And it turns out it's assholes. Oh, my God. <laughs> and there's just some painter just painting <laughs> over it <laughs> after the controversy. <laughs> some sad Mexican guy just painting over it. <laughs> yeah, that's not a selling point. They probably oh. don't even mention that at all oh, when they're sure. selling that but house. But isn't that crazy how we were so in awe? Yes. And yeah, then we were now we're like, them. you know, we w- it's crazy how our mind works like that. Yeah. Ooh, I think it's time for an ad break. <laughs> oh. The zebra. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> TheZebra.com is the nation's leading car insurance comparison site Mm -hmm. because it's the only place you can compare hundreds of policies from all top carriers and choose the best for you. It's kind of like the kayak, but for car insurance. Right. Mm -hmm. Plus, they will never, 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 they will never sell your information to the spammers. Thank you. So you won't get all those unwanted calls or emails. Mm Mm-hmm. You just answer a few questions on a simple, fast form, and they find you the best rates and coverage in your state. California. (laughs) TechCrunch, and it's best. The Zebra is kayak for audio insurance. That's what TechCrunch says. I just said that. I know, but I'm reading up the thing. But TechCrunch said it, too. But also, Kalila DeVille said it. Yeah. (laughs) It's quick. It's easy. It's just an honest way to compare your car insurance quotes from all the top providers all at once. Tell them about it. Go today and start saving at... <laughs> thezebra.com slash belly. That's thezebra.com slash belly. Spell T H E Z E B R A dot com uh, slash belly. Now back to the show. It's crazy, also, um, shifts in power that I see. I remember one time, um, and I know that Val Kilmer's coming back with Top Gun and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I remember one time when he would back in the day when he did like the Dr. Moreau movie, right? Or right in the same time when he was doing Top Gun, the first Top Gun, mm-hmm. that he was so big. And he was, and I remember going to the Mondrian. I was like open micer. And Paulie took me there. He goes, dude, this is the Mondrian or whatever, right? And I remember he was there, Val Kilmer, and with his family and people and all these cool people mm-hmm. and we couldn't even get around his table there was like security and stuff it's, it's cr- incredible now if you saw him at you know Chipotle you, you would sit you know those sharing tables yeah you would sit right next to him dang and go, how's the bean burrito good or whatever but, but just in terms of shifts it takes a couple of years and they no longer have it anymore hmm. so I think the key though is and I want to tell young people right now is is that there's only a few people that stay up there f- for a long time, but you always go down. And I know a lot of comics, dude. I saw one two nights ago. A friend of mine, I can't name his name. Mm-hmm. He used to be big. He acted like a fucking total douchebag. And now he's among the peasants, right? And I, every time I see him, I want to say, remember when you did this, right? Mm-hmm. But I know that the suffering that he feels, he knows. You know, that's another thing. Why another friend of mine, I can name names, <laughs> right, is in the fucking doghouse for 15 years, you know? Yeah. 15. It's that same mentality of like, I've got the power. I'm going to scorch the earth around me. And then all of a sudden, one day they wake up and they go, oh, fuck, I don't have an agent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like the um, Catherine Heigl, right? Yeah. Oh, damn, yeah. That's why I've never turned down 
a photo. I, like when someone goes, "Hey, can I get a photo with you?" It's it's never have you have I ever said no? No. It's never no because it is. It's my job. Number one, number two, I'm flattered. And number three, I'm grateful. At the um, end of the day, I'm I grateful. will say though, okay, I here will we go. say here we go. <laughs> He's about to say some bullshit right now. Although I appreciate your openness and um, the fact that you do that with people, I will say that I respect others who do say no, because it, it is their space, it is their time, and you know, I, for someone like me, I imagine let's say someone like me, you know, somehow became let's say Katy Perry. I would be already a massive, I'm already an anxious ball as is. I don't think that I would stop for pictures for everybody. I think that that's my time and my space is valuable. Kalala. And I'm just a very like more, I'm not like Bobby in that way. I'm a huge fan. Do, can I get a picture with you really quick? Yes, of course. Of course. I do it. Of, of course. I'm just saying if I were Katy Perry. Babe. No, he, that was, that's the scenario. She was just doing You're the huge. scenario. I love your know? album in that movie you did with Lady Gaga. Yes. Do Am I in the middle of my meal with beats in my mouth? Yeah. What do you say? Hey, no, no, no. That's what I was saying. <laughs> oh, I don't want a picture with her yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have fucking red, red beats in my teeth. Yeah, no, yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that is one that's a little weird when you're eating. I've, I've been eating at restaurants and some dude has just sat next to me mm. because I'm smaller, mm-hmm. right? I don't seem like, you know, be, also my persona is I'm goofy and, and you know, life of the party or whatever. I guess I don't know. Is that my vibe? I don't. What's yeah. my vibe? Yeah. Life no, be vibe. real. Uh, be honest with me. What's my vibe? I say approachable. Uh, I think your general vibe is I can put you in my pocket and we can have we can paint the town. Okay, good. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, she said that. I didn't. But um, <laughs> so they sit next to me and they always like they and it's a little intrusive. Like I'm in the middle of a meal, you know. And if the only time I would do it is if I wouldn't do it is if I with, was with my parents. I think. If you're sitting with them in public, especially my dad now, if he's sick and you know he's you know it's, and there's no way I'd be able to do it. Um, but I, you know when I went when you were got sick in the Philippines, and those nurses snuck in that night. Yeah, snuck in, dude. She's remember she had a yeah. heart episode. She's on the bed. I think she's gonna fucking die. Mm-hmm. I wasn't gonna die. Right? I know, but I know. But in my Felt head, like, like oh, it. what's gonna fucking happen? It's like three in the morning, two in the morning, and a group of. Filipino nurses sneak into her room just so they can get a selfie with me. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Okay. I mean... That must have felt good, though, babe. <laughs> it didn't... No, at the time... I'm, I'm telling you right now, at the time, it didn't. Mm. It doesn't... It, no, in fact, it doesn't it doesn't feel good now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's intrusive. Can I tell you what happened to me that was so embarrassing today? I was at Soul Cycle and there was a full class and I was sitting in the front and I'm usually really, really strong and it was one of my favorite instructors. The second to the last song, I was charging and then all of a sudden I had a run. My heart fucking went into like a brief arrhythmia and then I couldn't breathe. And I, you know, you're clipped onto, you're clipped into your bike, right? And it's a very oh, dark shit. room. And my sister was right next to me, thank God. And I've never had to do this ever, but I had to like unclip and I like ran out because I didn't want to like, I wanted to like save face or whatever. But then my sister ran after me and then it fucking interrupted wow. the whole class. And now the instructor's like, is she okay? Cause she knows me mm. and she knows that, that I would never, you know, leave a class abruptly. Yeah. And I was so fucking humiliating. Why do you think that happened? What? Why do you Cause think I'm that close to my period. I get, um, I get runs when I, I get um, heart rhythms when I am close to my period. I also apparently get giant fucking styes. Wow, that must have been fucking scary. I know. Yeah. That's okay. It won't stop me. It was just brief. Took my meds. I'm cool. <sighs> well, we are going to the Philippines again in a couple <laughs> in a week. <laughs> oh, God. God. Uh, segue. Good segue. God, it, you know? it makes me nervous, you guys. Can I just express my I need to get it out of my chest so that it doesn't it doesn't affect me on the trip. My last trip to the Philippines was an absolute nightmare. I'm trying to have a, I'm trying, I'm doing, this is a redo. I want to take Bobby there and I actually want to be able to show him the Philippines. And I'm just so nervous that like with my luck, something's going to fucking happen to my heart again. But if I don't put it out in the universe, it will not happen. And I'm strong and I'm healthy, right? You guys aren't helping me. I think you're completely different than you were before because before we didn't know what it was. That's true. That was the beginning of it, right? So we didn't know what it was. 
Now we know what it is. Prepared, yeah. We know anything psychologically that helps you. We have the pills, mm-hmm. you know, a Tylenol, whatever. And um, I think that um, you don't get episodes often. That's true. And also, you know what you've been doing lately? When you do get them, you work through them. I do. And they pass. So there's stuff psychologically that you've been able to like mm. deal with. Mm-hmm. And it's it's. I think we're going to be completely fine. And I think we're due to go, you know. And in my mind, I'm so sick in my head that because I have a heart problem, I have, in order to feel confident, I do two-a-days workouts. Ask Bobby. Yeah. I wake up in the morning. It's insane. I do a spin class and I go back like after this podcast, I do a boot camp. I do berries. Is that okay for the heart? And the only reason, the only way, the reason I'm doing it is because if my heart can withstand that much, I feel confident that it would, it can withstand uh, when I throw a rhythm of like 220 beats a minute. That's so do you know what bad. I mean? So if I'm having, if I'm sitting down all of a sudden my heart beats 220 beats a minute, in my head I can logically tell myself, this is no different than a Barry's boot camp, and you can handle this. It's kind of a weird confidence thing I have to have, so I have to run my body to the ground in order to feel confident. And I'm, it's pro- I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but it's what's giving me a little bit of, I don't know. It feels safer that way. That's stupid, huh? No. no. It's not? That, I, I think that's the reason why mm. we're at this point of yeah. your confidence. Yeah, you know, maybe. I think it's great. Good. Um, I also want to thank the Tiger Belly fans for watching that episode on Spilling Up Together. It got pretty good response, although the numbers didn't go up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted. The no, so many people were posting on social media. Yeah, but I the numbers yeah, to go well, up. The, so. much of it. How does the Nielsen rating work? Don't they already have like set TV? Um, like they already know which TVs they're going to measure? Yeah, it's also, um, it doesn't count DVRs and, and Hulu weird. and all that it stuff. It doesn't count. Which is um, insane, but um, I like the way you said Hulu. Hulu. <laughs> oh, how do you say it? Like that. Hulu. Yeah. Also, um, I'm going to Hawaii t- tomorrow morning, mm. five in the morning, because um, I got two lines in an Adam Sandler movie. Wow, oh. Papa! Yay! And David Spade. Um, and I wasn't gonna. I'll tell you this right now. I've auditioned for every Adam Sandler movie. I think the last one I auditioned for was Zohan. Oh, wow, way that's back. a way long back. time. Yeah, ago. yeah, yeah. And um, and then in my head, I just thought, yeah, I'm not gonna get any of these Adam Stanley stuff. Yeah, I'm never gonna get one. This is this is it. So I called, but then now, not even thinking that you know, that's why when they offered me this scene, I go, I, 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 kid, I fucking, of course, bucket list. Yeah, yeah, it's a bucket list thing. You know, I also. The times I have met him, we went to his Chris a couple times at Christmas party. Oh yeah, at the Pickwick. At the How Pickwick. do you guys know each other again? You and Adam Sandler. Yeah, just he, we're both in comedy. Just kind of, okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you worked on a movie together. No, we're in comedy, yeah. maybe. Okay. You, you fucking ungrateful fucking piece okay. of shit. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Yeah. Comedy guy. Yeah. But I have to say, admit that he is like one of the sweetest guys. He's so nice. There's no one that says a bad thing about him. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I would I would die to do one scene, you know. Yeah. Even though Eric Griffin did one scene before me. <laughs> Wait, he's going to Hawaii too. No, he did a mo- the last movie. He had a scene with him oh, before okay. me. Yeah. That fat fuck. But yeah, I'm not gonna. It's not. A, it's not a competition, right? Yeah. It's not a competition. It's not a competition at all, right? Yeah. I feel great, babe. You, you're not in competition with others. You're only in competition with your ego. Remember? Yeah, she did send me that. I'm in competition with my own ego. Yeah, with your, um, mm. you're in competition with. But then why? Why is it on Twitter? They go, who did it better? The the hot sauce was that this. Oh, with you and Ken Jeong. Yeah. Why would oh. they compare the, the only hot, two Asians that you know, did what's the, the show? hot wing? The hot, the hot ones. The hot, hot one. The hot ones. He just did it. Yeah, yeah. And I now you, we're back to back. Who did it better? It's like why? What the what? The two Koreans, of course. The two Koreans. They're trying to pit you guys yeah. against each other. Yeah. Unfair. He's not. No, I love him. I'm so happy for him, <laughs> even though I did it way before him. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. even though yours was better. Even though mine was better. Yours better. Was better. Was better. Yeah, it's not a competition, <laughs> but yours was definitely uh, better. Yeah. Did Sean have more chemistry with you? Yeah, sure, yeah, but whatever. Yeah. I'm just mad that he didn't do, he didn't do Tiger Belly did because... You, did you get through more hot sauces? Yes, you did, but you know... 
That's not the point. That's not the point. It's not a competition. How many did he get through? He didn't go through all of them, I think. He did. You the weird thing about you is you ate the whole wing. No one ever eats the whole wing. <laughs> yeah, because hungry. I did it. I know I did it the way you're supposed to do, it, and I'm yeah. a warrior. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not weak. We're not yeah, he ended up pooing himself. Yeah. He took my shit my pants on the fucking thing. It's fine. Yeah. Um, Ken didn't do it, but, but yeah. Ken didn't. Yeah, yeah he didn't um, I'm happy for him. <laughs> And I'm happy for you. I'm happy for me. I'm happy for everybody. Um, I'm happy for Steve. Mm -hmm. My brother Stevie Weeby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we doing at time? I'm probably not even time. close. There. Time for a question. We are? Yep. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. Hello, Tiger Belly. I broke up with my ex-girlfriend about a month ago because she hit me multiple times out of mm -hmm. anger. I was disgusted with her and broke up with her because of that. She's now telling people I actually hit her and that she did nothing wrong. I would never hit her or anyone because I'm not that type of person. I don't know where to go with this. She told at least 12 people I know that I physically abused her, even though I never laid a hand on her, including my own mom. Okay. Wow. That's enough. And what was it? What's the main question? Uh, she's also accused me of stalking her. Even though, uh, Where can I go with this? What should I do? Is there any non-legal recourse? All right, here's the one thing I have to say about it, though. Mm -hmm is um, the real reason why it's you guys aren't together isn't the fact that she hit you. Mm -hmm. It's because she's that kind of person that would lie. Yeah. Right? Know this, is that you're out of this relationship, not because of the alleged abuse. I'm sure she did hit you, mm -hmm. right? But she's a bad person mm. deep down inside. Anyone that lies and fabricates bullshit like that to get some sort of revenge or is not a good person. Oof. It's like if Kalila and I broke up, right, and she started making lies about me. Well, it wouldn't be lies because I have all the blackmail footage. No, but you no, <laughs> no, no, I mean, all right, villain with the eye patch. I mean, I, 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 listen, I know what she has against me on those videos. He but knows if I she would never use it. Uh, if she fabricated, no, she might. I would but never. It, I'm just saying that if you fabricated things on top of that, that that I didn't do, then to me it'd be like, oh, thank God I'm not with her because she's a fucking bad person, yeah. right? Dude, my ex-boyfriend cheated on me and gave me a very curable, very curable <laughs> <laughs> bacterial infection. Uh, okay. But that's how I found out that he had cheated on me and I, had, I could have wrecked him in so many ways because he had... Physically we believe assaulted you, babe, babe, me. Says, yeah. He had done so many things You're against me. You're a good person, me, babe. Come on. But I didn't. <laughs> why? There's no. And in this guy's case, I think that the truth will come out over time. You, you lay low. Be who you've always been. Kind to your friends. She's gonna. She's already unraveling, and her, her monster is already coming out, and it's gonna stay that way for a while. So maybe right now you look like the bad guy, but over time, I promise, people are going to see this trend in her. She's gonna carry it over to her next relationship and to the next unless, one. Unless, unless her lies affect him pocket wise. That's a big. That's a big thing. Right. If, if, it affects, if she goes to his work. It affects him getting fired or something like that. I think that um, at that point, you would have to do some something something legal, sue her for harassment, harassment or whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah. Um, but if she doesn't do anything, it's just rumor. And the people that know you guys know you, right? They know yeah. that you don't do that. Um, I think you're fine. Yeah, and if they take her side, if you, if like people you know or like or your friends or your mother believe her. Maybe you should fucking question that relationship too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Else? And stay the fuck as far away as possible from this person. Mm. Leave her in the dust. She sounds like an absolute monster. You don't want that type of shit in your life. Run. Do you Run have an, for do you the have hills. Another one? Yeah, uh, this person listens to us and does a very, did a very short one. All she said was, my father is in poor health right now. I'm trying to make sure he's taken care of. It's stressing me out big time. Thank you, Tiger Belly. Help me take some of the weight off my shoulders. Is there any wisdom on there? <sighs> it's a tough one, too. I mean, it's like, um, you know, my dad's sick. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's it, there's really nothing to say to, really no, not much you can say to help her because it's like, it sucks. And just know that inevitably it's, it's everyone goes through it. There's not a single human being that's ever lived on this planet 
that's never experienced loss and death and, and sickness. You just read the Fe- Bible. Feel all your feelings. Um, I think that the most important thing for me when I had a very sick father for a very long time, um, my mistake was trying to distract and run away from it rather than face it because I was a teenager and I didn't necessarily know, I didn't have the tools to properly um, cope with that kind of um, thing in my life. But in retrospect, I'm looking back now, I wish somebody had just told me to, hey, what you're feeling, all this grief, is just part of the process. Feel it, acknowledge it, get to know it, get to know the grief. And, you know, if you want to, and I think the, the worst thing you can do is run away from it. It's just, you have to be in it. The only way out is through. So, that's my advice. Mm-hmm. That was, we're not very good at this, but. No, we're very good. good. I'm at the Irvine Improv this weekend. Babe, let's end on a good note. Give, I am give with us a my, happy. I am. No, no I'm, none of these are happy. I'm ending it. I'm ending it. End it with. Um, I'm coming back from Hawaii Thursday night. I'm Friday. I'm doing the Irvine Improv all weekend. I don't have a single new joke than I did the last time. <laughs> Not a single new joke. So, bleep us st- still come again and watch me do the same jokes. <laughs> That's not how you're in a. <laughs> I'll sell it. We'll be there. Yeah. Possibly Saturday. Well, that's not how you're going to sell tickets, dude. I, I know. I don't. I actually, to be honest with you, I don't want to sell tickets. No, yes. Please come, you guys. I need everybody to actually fill this you're all. You're a fin goth, finally, huh? What? Financial goth. What's that? Oh, what is that? Is that a fin goth? Yep. When you, wanna, means. when you don't want money, you get off on not having any money. Oh. Really? It's called oh. fin, fin goth. Mm-hmm. Fin goth. That's a financial new goth. financial goth. Oh. You're like, right. oh, like when you just don't want to conform to anybody. Yep. I, like, like, ex- I was just hearing Bobby say this. I was like, respect. Yeah. yeah. Are you think goth too, bro? I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> getting there? Oh, shit. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. I have six animals to feed. <laughs> Benny, I'll see you on Irvine. And um, we have some really good guests coming up. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. We haven't, we never even got to talk about how you haven't seen a single Disney movie from the Golden We'll do the next time. Wanna Craig Ferguson's coming up. Theo Vaughn's, Vaughn's coming, coming up. Theo Vaughn's coming up. Um, so it's, it's exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're going to report back to you when we come back from the Philippines. Are we recording one in the Philippines, George? I think we should. Yeah, I'm going to... We'll at least do some Patreons over there. We'll do a... Yeah, we've got a... And the final word a is lot Gil's of not coming. What's that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck he's not, Of course he's not. He's not a team player. You called him Chris. <laughs> Okay, Chris. <laughs> what, what do you... What do you, what's that paper you have? No, I'm... Uh, are you guys done? Yeah. I'm just going to do the end stuff. I'll be right back. I'm going to okay. say hi to the animals. <laughs> Um. So Saturday, are I Patch gonna be there? Uh, me. Wait, what? Is I Patch gonna be there? Saturday. The I Patch is I Patch. You villain. are you gonna be at uh, in the Ryan? If, if I have a fucking swollen eye, yeah, but I doubt. I, I, it'll. I'll be fine by then. I'll be looking pretty cute. By I was then. Gonna, so you'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. George, will you be there? <laughs> yeah. Um. Pretty sure. Yeah. Ask me. Hey, Gilbert, are you gonna be there Saturday? I think I'm gonna be there too. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Or not. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I was laughing so hard, though, when you were laughing at Bobby. <laughs> your, your head was up. Your eye patch. <laughs> I was like, hey, relax. Maybe I could have a job as a villain. You could be a villain. This is very dizzying, though, and I can't wait to do mm-hmm. to take this off. Okay, guys, let me finish so this up. Wrap then. it up. All right. Uh, thanks again to our sponsors, Postmates, Robin Hood, and the zebra uh, get your hundred dollars free delivery credit by downloading postmates and using the code belly and get your free stock at tiger.robinhood.com and start saving on car insurance today to the and by going to the zebra.com slash belly uh, you can put pe- periods at the end of those sentences nah, there man. gilbert That's, these, are all, uh, these all commas can... are all kind of off god it, it was written perfectly uh george how are we on the comedy itunes charts these days I don't have the chart to. Re- I, I give you the thing to read, and now oh. you're George, trying to make. It was make a simple read- question, and you had a meltdown. Oh, because uh, <laughs> you clearly posted about it on your. Uh, we're doing inst- pretty good. Uh, we're up. Uh, we're up in the 30s, but uh, Genius Brain is ahead of us. David oh. So's podcast. This is brand new. That's how yeah, the algorithm yeah, yeah, yeah. works. Yeah. No, I know. I also, know. George He's doing well. Also, George is pushing that one harder. Shut, uh, shut no, I'm, uh, I'm So make sure you leave us. Way to make it. Where are your allegiances, George? Right here. Okay, good. Uh, so, Let's check it. So, guys, uh, you uh, guys, if your if your allegiances are where my allegiances are, yes, you. 
She's like, where are your allegiances, George? Uh, <laughs> She's please like go it. to the iTunes and, uh, and uh, give us a review. You know, five star review, and uh, that'll help us uh, boost up in the charts. I'm Kalila Deville. Ooh. Ooh, hashtag Kalila Deville. Everyone, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, take a screenshot of this. Get a, get, a, get a good pose, and then make it a meme. Whoever has the best But I would meme. never kill little Dalmatians for their I fur. No, but it's for the random contest we're doing for stickers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, pose, George. Pose, pose. Suck everything in. There it is. I had to suck it in. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Yeah. If you want to mail any packages, um, Kalala has the address for that. Our address is 1626 North Wilcox Avenue, number 161, Hollywood, California, 90028. And then you can direct that to Tiger Belly or one of our names, but definitely put Tiger Belly on there. And big oh. up. Yep, go ahead. Sorry. Shout out. No, go ahead. I wanted to tell you guys another story. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll close it up with this. You know these pants? Yeah, those are There was cool. another thing that went wrong today at class. You died. So it. after I had a heart rhythm, I went to the bathroom and I realized that I did not have, I did not bring um, a change of pants. So I, I, I yelled at my sister outside. I was like, Quinna, go buy me some pants because they have like merch outside. And she she thought that she pulled the cheapest one because it was the thinnest mm-hmm. one. She's like, here, this is a cheap one. She's like, I put it on your account. 180 fucking dollars oh. for this piece of shit. And it's Why? on my account. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was like, what is this made of? Like 66 little rabbits? $180. Maybe I am Cruella de Vil. Damn. $180 sweatpants? I want those. Some was, so, not yeah. a fin- some was not a fin goth. I'm going to fin goth it too. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no, but you, I couldn't return it because I had ripped off the tag before. Damn. And I looked oh. at the tag. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yes. And she was like, I'm so sorry. It looked like the cheapest one. It looked like the cheapest one. I was like, one. well, it was the most expensive one. Oh, my gosh. Well, at least you have really expensive Kanye West pants. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, big ups to our real papaya super sleepers and premium episode subscribers on our Patreon. To be part of the Patreon fam, go to patreon.com slash tigerbelly. Uh, we got some fun episodes on there, so uh, check that out. Also, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this direction? I'm like, every time I see can I Can I read it? Can I read yeah. it? Can which I read it? Which are also... B- big ups to all the real papaya super sleepers and premium episode subscribers on our Patreon. To be part of the Patreon family, go to patreon.com slash tigerbelly. Ben? <laughs> Gilbert, describe what's been going on in the exclusives. <laughs> you, I'm telling you. Uh, Come on, Second Gil. City, Gil. Uh, well, it's, it's better in I'll your own you freaking words. I'll you tell you what's God going on. We have another episode from Stevie Weeby that's going to be on there. And that is, uh, you're, it's out right now if you're listening to this. Yep. So make sure you jump on that. Good times, fun times. Uh, we'll sometimes take field trips. We did one at the Koreatown Plaza. I don't know where we'll go next. Where would you want to go? I think we should take people's suggestions. Yeah. yeah any that's, uh, um, we any do place listen to where on, they uh, wouldn't be. Yeah. yeah. Any place you recommend where they wouldn't be sticklers about people recording. Yeah. I know how no, the Koreatown like, Plaza one here. was so much fun. Cause, yeah, because like, yeah. nobody gave a shit about yeah. us being there. Like, we were just sitting people? there, had a whole yeah whole podcast set up on a table and ate food. And yeah, we and didn't eat it on mic. Uh, and, yeah. and Bobby like reminisced on... Uh, and that was so much fun because Bobby got to reminisce about like his time at the, like that plaza. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. And Kalala ordered 50 dishes. I By accident, because I thought we were doing family-style eating and none of you motherfuckers <laughs> ate with me. And I just ate everything. That is true. And you still look very skinny. Oh, so there we go. Out. Guys, and, uh, Philipp- and episodes from the Philippines will be coming up too. So oh, very uh, yeah. exciting. Um, guys, uh, where are your handles? Kalila, where can we follow you? <laughs> <laughs> at Kalila. <laughs> Ew. No, you can like find a- me at Kalila Deville. <laughs> that was like a social media influencer laugh. <laughs> that was me. What do you call it? Vocal Frank? <laughs> Vocal- <laughs> yeah. you, you can find me at Kalila Deville. <laughs> You should make it at Cloud. Someone please make an at Cloud Deville account, fan account. And uh, yeah, put a bunch of eye patches on all her photos on her actual Instagram. <laughs> uh, you can follow her Clam Decay. George, where can we follow you? George underscore Kimmel. Where can we follow your cousin Bryce if people are more into him? Yeah, I guess Bryce Alec. Oh, there you go. That's so nice of you, George. And also, you can follow me <laughs> at Bobby Lee Live. So make sure you go on bobbyleelive.com. Check out all the tickets, the shows, and etc. Everyone, have a good night. Follow us on Tiger Belly and everything. <laughs>